Works. Hallo, <lacht> hallo. Ja, okay. Passt. <lacht> Today I'm getting my cast off. Uh, so yeah, when this airs, it'll be today. Yeah, and I'm so excited. Me too. Why you too? <laughs> Just I'm excited too. <laughs> There are some little things that, that I don't know. I'm just excited. I mean, the thing is, I still have to probably be very careful. Yeah. And not, you know. No, sure. Do everything, but I feel like I haven't had pain in for a week now. Like That's good. Proper, like, I mean, I haven't had pain in two weeks, like really proper pain. Yeah. But last week, it there was a day where it hurt a little bit. Mm. Um, and yeah, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I think I'm good. That's a good sign. It is a good sign. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's start into the episode. Okie dokie. So everybody, welcome to a new episode of Hello, I'm Listening with me, Wiffy and Danny. You're Voithy and Danny. I'm Voithy and Danny. Hi, everybody. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go then. <laughs> yeah, go. Okay. Um, so, 2023, we have to do like a little... Not a Happy re- New Year, everybody. Not yet, <laughs> but almost. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everybody. We, we didn't actually, we didn't really wish people Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays last time. Really? Yeah, we did. We just ended the episode with Living in oh, Leslie. Okay. And so, whoever felt offended by that, uh, I sincerely apologize and say, "Go fuck it." No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm just, just in, in retrospective, Merry Christmas again, or Happy Holidays, or you know, whatever you uh, choose to celebrate. I hope you had a lovely, or you have a lovely uh, time. And also, you know, Happy New Year. Yeah. It's, it's a fresh If you're start into, into year. that kind of thing. I mean, the thing is, it's kind of nice to end the year with something, you know, and start a new year. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's whatever you do, whatever you not do, doesn't matter. Okay. It's just it's still a fresh fresh start. Yeah, <laughs> it's a point. I don't I don't really see it that way. Not that I see it in a negative way. I just. Now you know what you mean. I it's another day, yeah. you know. No, it it's just like day. the number changes, and it is it is another day. And every, it, I mean, it sounds so cheesy, but every day is technically a new sure. year. No, sure, technically. obviously. Technically, no, I, I I understand. That's true. That's so true. I don't know that I just I I like the symbolism of it, but I also feel like there are there are a good percentage of people that like say around. October, November, start saying, I'm going to, you know, I set this goal for myself yeah, and I'm going to start it yeah, in the new year. Yeah, It's yeah. like, just start now. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we already talked about that yeah. uh, on the last episode, so we don't want to go into that. But yeah. um, I want to quickly shout out a YouTube video I made. Um, and that shameless is... Shameless plug. Yeah. No, it's not a shameless plug because it's sure about it the podcast. It's a shameless plug. It's not because it's sh- it's a shameful plug actually. So you're ashamed. I am ashamed. <laughs> no, it's I made a YouTube video about how like we started the podcast, some things we learned throughout the podcast, um, doing it and stuff. Uh, it's like a five six minute video, so if you have time, check it out. It's on my YouTube. You can find it when you Google my name or uh, when you search my name on YouTube. Um, yeah. Or you can just link it too in the description. Oh, and the I podcast. will link it in the description. Sure, I'll do that. Okay, so before we go into anything else, I just want to say, what is what was your favorite movie 2023? Whoa, know. that's on the spot. Yeah, I know. That's why I didn't want it. Uh, but I actually think I know it, and I'm pretty sure it was this year. A good person. A good person. That's that was my favorite movie of the year. That's a very good, very, very That's good. the first one that comes to my head. I you would know, say Barbie is second. The, the, the thing that stood out to is... me a lot was The Holdovers. Yeah, it stood out to me too, but good person was just like so. But good person is up there as well. I as soon as we good, as soon as it ended, it's one of those movies that ended, and I'm like, I want to start it over yeah, and watch it again. Yeah, it was again. a good good year for movies. It was. Yeah, 
Favorite album? <sighs> yeah, it's hard. Or just favorite music, <sighs> song, artist, whatever. And Billy's always my favorite. But she had a new, new album. But she didn't out. have but a new album. A, yeah, she had a song out. Yeah. Barbara um, song. Yeah, but I actually think this year, like, new favorite for me, and I wouldn't say, like, it's she's my favorite artist, but yeah. um, something new to me that I very much enjoyed this year was Olivia Rodrigo. Mm-hmm. I Especially her new album. It's very, me, very good. My favorite album was the new Post Malone album. Also it's fantastic. Not, it's not, like like the greatest ever made but it's still a great album i mean the song green thumb is and fucking I, yeah, brilliant i had i listened it up and down it's um, brilliant the, favorite the, book. The, that song favorite book i mean i basically only read harry potter this year <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> yeah, i think you don't have to answer that I, no i do have to answer that because i also read some other books i mean i'm i'm in love with the harry potter books i love them so much i have one i'm on the last one right now but um I a non Harry Potter book that I read that was really good was the Love Pamela, and I oh yeah very very much enjoyed that book. the Pamela Anderson uh, book yeah yes I don't even I don't even remember all the books I read this year it wasn't that many I you rem- should get a Goodreads I know I should I track my my reading in there you can set like a goal the for thing the is year I if liked, you want to I liked the the book that I read the last right now or the finished the last was the 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 um talk talk don't talk to strangers or talk yeah. to strangers mm-hmm. by by matt from yes theory uh that was a good book um favorite memory or favorite thing we did a favorite memory or favorite thing we did because they're t- there's are two separate things and favorite memory favorite memory is uh the positive pregnancy test for me yeah that was i bet yeah that was a i remember when i got home with bean from the bakery and <laughs> <laughs> it was nice did we do we tell that story on the podcast? I think so, yeah. I don't remember. I mean, just in short, I was you basically made a test the day before. I I mean, I was supposed to wait two weeks and after a week I was like, I feel different. Like I just somehow yeah. knew. And so I decided to take a test and when I I couldn't sleep anymore. And so I got up and it was really early and you're supposed to do it with the first pee. Yeah. And I was like, Hey, if I have to pee now anyways, I might as well take one. And it was like five in the morning. And I took one and it was, I took two actually at the same time. And they were both like very obviously you're pregnant. Yeah. And I was like, well, now nah, I can't go back to sleep. <laughs> and I didn't want to wake you up to tell you that. So I just waited for you to wake up. And then. <laughs> then I got up, went to the bakery with the dog and came home. And then you told me yeah. with a piece of paper. But in a, that sounds like lame. <laughs> no, I mean, with a piece. no, it was very sweet because the piece of paper was like a dad joke. It was, yeah, I wrote two dad jokes on the paper and I gave it to you in like a kind of trying to be nonchalant way. Like, can you yeah. read this? Like I, as if I, it was illegible or something and it had two dad jokes on it. And then it said, and turn, said, turn what, the paper over and what, what do these have it? in common? Yeah. They're both dad jokes. And then it said, look up and you looked up and I had the pregnancy test. And yeah, it was a nice moment. That's my favorite memory. Yeah, it was nice. What's your favorite memory of the year? I mean, that one and just being uh, at Seagate, I really... That would have been my, what really we did together. I enjoyed the holiday or, or yeah. getaway or whatever. It was such a nice time there, such nice weather and just exploring and... I mean, in general, we had a nice... Fun. We had fun this summer, I feel like. Yeah. We did Seagate and then we were in Prague to see Bill Burr. Mm-hmm. It was also super fun. Yeah. No, we had some fun little things planned this year. Yeah. It was yeah. cool. So, okay. Um, I already said that my favorite book was the uh, Don't uh, Talk to Strangers book. Um, mm-hmm. And there were two things that like I felt kind of inspired by and I kind of want to bring into the new year, not as like a, a resolution, um, but just like as something I want to try to live more by or try to uh, put put into my daily routine mm-hmm. somehow if that makes sense one of them was uh, but i believe that underneath the discomfort holding us back is fear and the trick is to feel that fear and do it anyway and i kind of like that mm-hmm. because it we talked about discomfort like four episodes ago i think um like we talked about stepping out of your comfort zone and 
also the positives of having a comfort zone. I think it's mm-hmm. not the worst to have one. Um, but yeah. But the thing is, I I mean, I already I am already doing that in a, a lot of ways. But I I still want to, you know, um, just do stuff without having the the fear of people not liking it or people shitting on it or yeah. people you know I, I don't I I, I want to just do stuff because it's fun to me and it it, it, it makes me happy um, and just don't give a shit of if it's perceived well if it's perceived at all if it's perceived badly whatever you yeah. know all that stuff mm-hmm. and that brings me to I just go do, uh, do the, the two um, remaining one because they're kind of all related mm-hmm. And another one is, it's also from the same book, if you bring uh, good energy, if you think you deserve to be there, then you, things work out in your favor. So self-belief is a massive thing that mm-hmm. I, I have encountered in my professional life where you, and that's what I tell everybody, like a, a lot of people I talk to are like, and how is your uh, self-employment going? And they're like, yeah, it's, it's great. It's, it's going well. And I'm doing super well. And, and, you know, every year was better than the last one. Like you could, basically mm-hmm. not wish for something better and then people are like ah you know i have this idea and i want to do that too and blah blah you know things where they have admirations to to do something mm-hmm. out of their nine to five life and i always tell them and i believe that wholeheartedly that you can make money with literally anything if you believe in it mm-hmm. and if you really uh, uh show people that you believe in it yeah and obviously you can't sell shit, you know, like literal shit. I'm th- I mean, sure. There are people who sell. Oh, yeah. It's manure. A manure, yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. You can, you can sell, sell shit. sell shit. Yeah. So uh, you can literally do anything. And I, I wholeheartedly believe that um, there is nothing you can't do. And I think that um, quote totally resembles it. I mean, it was in relation to a story he told in the book, but... The core, at the core of it is if you believe in yourself and if you show that energy, mm-hmm. then people believe in you and people throw money at you and say, yeah, let's do that. Mm-hmm. And the last one is from Dr. Seuss. I really like that I one too. I love Dr. Seuss. Be who you are and say what you feel mm-hmm. because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. Yep, I know that one. And I, I really like all the places you'll go? I don't know. I just found it and... I, I feel like that's from all the places you'll go. I found it in, in kind of related to to the things above. Um, and it's, again, also related to the thing I already said that I want to just do stuff without being, um, you know, without doing it for anybody else but me and for without feeling like, oh, uh, I don't know if people like that. I don't know if anybody would like what I do, whatever, you know. Mm. So my not a goal but my aspirations for next year is that i just want to put myself out there more in the sense that i want to just risk things just do stuff without yeah. my discomfort or fear holding me back mm-hmm. yeah so now you okay um i also have three quotes um mine are all very much related to my current situation of being pregnant. Um, This one I just thought was really sweet. Uh, It said, a baby will make love stronger, days shorter, nights longer, bankroll smaller, home happier, clothes shabbier, the past forgotten, and the future worth living for. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Clothes shabbier I don't like. but I like it. I mean, it kind of highlights all of the... In, in such a short little thing, it highlights all of the joys, like how there's there's kind of like the meh side of yeah. it, but how all of the other joys of it like make up for that. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know, I just thought it was a nice way to go into the new year knowing that there's like a month left basically for until she's here. And I don't know, it was a lot of fear starting around it for me a little bit I, although i wouldn't necessarily say fear but i don't know worry maybe. i mean sure of the uncertainty and stuff yeah you know? and just like raising a human and yeah <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean worse people did it before so that gives me comfort <laughs> 
Um, and then I have to think of which one first. Um, this one is kind of, I mean, it's a, it's Oprah, it's an Oprah Winfrey quote. Oh, wow. <laughs> You get a car. You get a car. <laughs> That's you the quote. How did you know? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good quote. Um, but it has kind of double meaning for me, both like past and future. Um, but she said, challenges are gifts that force us to search for a new center of gravity. Don't fight them. Just find a new way to stand. Yeah. That's a good one. I really like that because for me, it's also like, it's not just about the, it represents so much of like the journey to this point. Of like the almost a year of... I mean, everything, everything. That's like over a year of our like fertility journey and... But it can mean uh, I, it's everything. It's not... It's for you, it's that. But, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, that's what it is for me. Yeah. But it also for me represents like what's coming. Yeah. Because it is a challenge. I mean, not just the birth is going to be a challenge. The first few weeks are going to be a challenge. The first year is going to be a challenge. It's like there and there will continuously be challenges being a parent. And so I think it's just like a nice, it's a, I like that. I just like the, the symbolism yeah. of it, I guess. Yeah. No, it's nice. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and this one is kind of like just for me about like going, stepping into the unknown. So not necessarily just becoming a parent, but you know, in terms of like my career afterwards and how to go about that and how to, you know, provide in that sense. Um, but it is by O. Henry. O. Henry. O. Henry. His real name is William Sidney Porter, but he goes, his writer name is O. Henry, okay. like O. Henry. Okay. A true adventurer goes forth aimless and uncalculating to meet and greet unknown fate. I mean, that goes along with the things I said, basically. Yeah. Um, also kind of like stepping into the unknown and yeah. out of your, into discomfort sometimes or out of your own comfort or just being open to whatever's going to happen because you yeah. don't really know, like we can't predict how, what kind of parents we're going to be. We can't predict, we can hope and we can say, and we I want to be this kind yeah, of parent. Yeah. But you can't really know. And you also can't know, like, how's the birth going to go? And that's for me, like, right now, like, <laughs> front sure. of my my mind. So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I just think it's can, a nice way to look at it. Just you can to, wish for things. You can. Yeah. You know, it's going to get, it's going to be smooth. It's not going to be um, easy, obviously. Nope. Because I think no birth is easy. But it can be smooth. And you can wish for that already. And you can mentally also you know tell yourself that to first of all to also get your stress levels lower mm -hmm. or try to do that at least the thing is that that's also one thing that i'm actually proud of myself for is i'm not really feeling stressed about it i'm starting to think about it much more I mean, sure. like it's now a daily thought that i'm like i have to birth a human <laughs> but i'm pretty calm about it i'm pretty like I'm just going to let things happen as they happen. And I think that the whole like journey leading up to getting pregnant helped me with that because yeah. we talked about that too on the podcast where it was in the beginning, just like always. So this is going to work and so hopeful and yeah. this time it's going to finally happen. And then just constantly being disappointed. And I think it kind of gave me a tougher skin a little bit where now I'm just like accepting things as they come and what happens happens and it's out of my control there i there are only so many factors that i can control yeah, and i yeah. control those to the best of my ability and everything else as exactly. long as we both come out fine and, and healthy and right and every and there are so many people who did it before and uh, everything's different you can never say oh it's going to be like this or it's yeah. going to be like this yeah i think the best thing is to just have an open mind and know and trust yourself trust the people around you mm-hmm and also tell yourself that you're able to do it. And I think, I mean, but that's I think also what we have preparing read. yourself. Right. Like that's what we have read. And that's what people tell you. The, the more tense you are, the more stress you put on yourself, the harder it's going to be. Yeah. Not to tell that it's not stressful. It will be stressful. Sure. But, but I think there are certain things you can already do now to, you know, get that, get that stress level lower. Yeah. Well, I think also like for me, 
it's always been important to like educate myself about certain things. So anytime there's something medical involved, especially with my own body, I'm like all on it. You know, I'm like, I want to know everything I want to learn. I want to, so I understand what's happening with my body as it's happening. Cause for me, that's such a things that I can't see are, I don't need to know that. See, I like to know that because things that I can't see are more difficult for me to then understand. I don't need to understand. So, you know, with the whole, like fertility thing leading up to it like how it works and how i mean that's that was interesting but it's yeah. super interesting but for me that was so important to yeah, like be able that. to know that visualize it and then i could really be in tune with my body and i feel mm. like that's i mean sure. for birth really it makes helpful sense, yeah. yeah no it totally makes sense yeah 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 but i think um just to end this episode it's the last episode this year um uh, 2023 was a, f- a very fun um, roller coaster um, with getting a dog, uh, being finally pregnant, and the journey to basically having a kid. Do you just hear my stomach in the mic? Uh, it sounded like a fart. I no, it was my anything. stomach. Um, all the things we were able to do this year, all the things that I was to do, I was in Croatia on a fucking boat for a week. Mm. I just rewatched the video and it's it's so surreal. That's why I make those videos. It's not necessarily I want to put them on YouTube for everybody else to see and feel like, oh, he's so cool. He does things like that. That's not that's not what I do it. That's not why I do it. But I I, I love to rewatch those things. Mm. It's basically like a, a photo album to, to me, yeah. you know, where I just watch them back and remember those moments again and the feelings I had. And to me, it feels like a lifetime ago that I went on the boat. Yeah, it's so weird. And then um, all the other stuff that happened, we did that year, and yeah, weird shit. Yeah, no, it's over that year. But it was a good year. It was a good year, and it, it was, was a very good year. For me, a better year than the year before. I mean, I'm the year before sure. we were doing a lot. We're like finishing we're building, building, and yeah, that was a stressful but also fun year. Fertility stuff, and it was that was a rough year, but. Um, no, I, I, I enjoyed this year and, you know, Beanie Boy, our, our doggo, that was a highlight of this year yeah, for sure. Yeah. Sometimes I forget that it was this year yeah, because I so feel weird. like so much happened this year and he's so big already and he's, yeah, it feels like he's been around longer, but then you remind yourself, oh, he's not even a year yet. Yeah. The fucker. Almost. Almost. Yeah. 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 It was a good year and I am looking forward to next year and all of the joys and challenges yeah. that it brings i mean it brings me to you the listener um thank you for listening thank you for you know subscribing i don't know how long you have been listening to our podcast already um, but we appreciate every one of you very much we do and we see the numbers we see the statistics and um we already told you about that the numbers went down a couple of weeks ago and now they kind of go up again a little bit that makes us happy and um you know, we want to continue that uh, whole podcast thing, obviously. But we also don't know um, how it's going to be with a baby. So yeah. um, up to the baby, we'll probably provide you with weekly yep. episodes. But yeah, we will. And obviously, once she's born, I mean, yeah. we don't know when that's going to be. It could be close to the due date in early February, or it could be earlier. It could be hopefully not later. Yeah. Um, but we'll obviously... Or at least Voifi will, will one probably. of us will give an update once she's born yeah. and kind of uh, it will we'll let you know how we're going to proceed. But we're not planning on leaving no. when she arrives where it might just be a little more staggered once in a while or maybe yeah. not as yeah. frequent. Yeah. yeah. Maybe or, we'll release some old episodes. Yeah. Or that. Or I also thought about, you know, if, if you don't have time or something and I just do a pod, an yeah. episode alone with a guest maybe or something, yeah, yeah. something like that. So we'll figure that out. But for now, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, in German, we say Guten Rutsch, which, me, which means have a good slide, slide into the new year. Slide <laughs> well. Slide well. <laughs> um, don't hurt yourself. Don't blow your fingers or anything else up. Maybe just, I mean, most people don't do fireworks in the U.S. for... For yeah. New Year's, but that's a thing here. Yeah. But, but just yeah. stay away from the fire. Be, um, Be safe. And we hear each other next year. Next year. Watch out for deer. Woohoo!